What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at foley and he is making a comeback so foley is one of the ogs he's been in the game for four years plus and he's definitely been power crept over the years and he's probably in a lot of people's vaults but it's time to take him out and start using him again um, he's a monster for arena especially early to mid game he does start to fall off in the late game However, he does have his uses. He is a huge counter to Wukong. Um, Wukong has one of the most broken passives in the game and Foley completely shuts this down. Um, he also counters Rotos as well, so that's another good reason to use him. Um, in Live Arena as well, everyone is using like double revivers and Foley will also help you with that. Um, dungeons as well. If you're using, you know, in Ice Golem, he will shut down the ads on the boss, making it a lot easier. Um, and for Finite as well, he has quad hitters in his kit that will just completely peel away those pesky shields and just make it a hell of a lot easier. So we'll look at his skills first, then our facts, then blessings, and then masteries. So passive living armor. Whenever an enemy places a stun, freeze, sleep, or provoke debuff, this champion instantly removes it, heals himself by 20%, and then boosts his uh, turn meter by 50%. This is an amazing passive, and it counters a lot of champions. A really good example is Prince Kaimar. So Prince Kaimar will strip the team and put them to sleep, but not Foley. Foley will remove that sleep, he'll cut in with that turn meter boost, and then he will drop the nukers on the enemy team, and that's it, it's game over. Um, also, that's not every single form of CC, but it almost is. I think, you know, there's like freeze and petrification, but he is, you know, removing a lot of CC off himself. Now, his A3, this is one of the best bits in his kit. It's an AoE hit. Um, you need accuracy to push back the turn meter by 15%. Um, but any enemies killed by their skill cannot be revived. And that's the huge bit. There's not many champions in the game that have AOE hitters that when they kill someone, they can't be revived. Uh, one thing to say though, is that it has to be this skill that kills them. If Soul Reap finishes them off, the block revive won't count. So his A2 is a quad hitter, hits at random, and each hit has a 35%, 45% chance when fully booked of placing a leech. So this ability also hits very hard, but it also has that leech, which is nice. It does give a bit of healing. And on Fire Knight, this means that you can use this as a quad hitter on the boss as well to help peel those shields. His A1 also hits four times and has a 20%, 25% when fully booked to place the big boy version of decrease um the defense um and again this is just so good if you're struggling with fire knight it will help you just peel off of those shields um you, again though you do need accuracy to land this decreased defense so what i'd say for accuracy um if you're on normal stages level 20 you need 200 accuracy if you're on level 25 then 250 and then if you're on hard mode, you're going to need like 300 to 350 to land these debuffs. So that is very, very important. So I have built my Foley as a pure nuke, but also like a sort of nuke support build. So I'll talk you through that in a moment. So we're going to go through every piece of his kit. So we've got a triple roll in speed on his weapon. Very nice. And a bit of accuracy too. Um, no speed on the helmet, but we do have attack percentage, crit damage, and crit rate. On the shield, a double rolling speed as well, and we are trying to get a lot of speed on him. Um, really, really nice gloves. It's just a shame we got rolls in defense. Ideally, that would have been in crit rate or in speed. Very nice chest piece. Even though this is rare, this is still a good piece. We've got some crit rate, we've got accuracy, and we've got subs in speed as well. Uh, God tier boots, um, double roll in crit rate, and we've ascended them with speed as well. Very, very lucky on that. So this ring, um, it has terrible rolls, but the only reason I've got it is because we need... Um, the reaction just gives us that survivability. 
Ideally, you want an attack ring with double, triple rolls in attack percentage. Um, a shame on the on the amulet as well. Um, obviously, attack and accuracy would be the best rolls for this piece. However, just been having that five percent chance to prevent skill cooldown is huge. So that is very very useful. And they've got a really really nice banner with a double roll in speed. Shame no subs in attack percentage. So total stats we are rocking thirty two k HP. So that's going to give us a decent amount of survivability. And I do feel like Foley is naturally a tanky champion. Um, attack four point six k, a little bit on the low side. I'd love this to be sort of five point five and above. Um, then he's he's got quite a lot of defense as well. So again, like I said, naturally chankly at 2.5k defense 252 speed and the reason i've built them so fast is on purpose so this is so you can sort of fill two roles so for fire knight you know hard mode he needs to be really really fast but also for arena if we're coming against wukong wukong is going to be built two ways he's either going to be built as a new car and if he's built as a new car we'll definitely outspeed him if he's a cc wukong then he's going to be built very fast with lots of accuracy and that's why we're at 252 speed. So we can outpace him, get in there first and just drop him. And just that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, crit rate, you know, of course, we want to be 100 and above. Um, and then crit damage at 250. So a decent amount of uh, crit damage. And again, accuracy on a little bit on the low side. It doesn't really matter. You know, we're not really going to be landing any of our debuffs in arena. Um, but if you do want to build him a purely for PVE, you know, we could swap out his banner for an accuracy banner. And also the secret source is making sure that you do put some points in here for, um, so, you know, for, from like live arena, make sure you put these points in here so you can help get those stat requirements that you need. Blessings. So sorry is the obvious choice for him, especially for Arena. It's just such a good ability to finish people off. And of course, we are missing a little bit of um, extra attack from here. Crit damage as well, and then some nice extra stats if you can six-star him. If you are building him purely for PvE, I would recommend going Phantom Touch. So basically, there's a chance to get an extra hit in that means that we can have an extra chance of, you know, peeling off the shield for Finite and on hard mode he has so many layers of that pesky shield so we do need we do need that phantom touch for that masteries we've got this very very standard uh foley masteries so in the offense tree we've got crit rate going into crit damage and then we're getting damage all on the left hand side and going into helm smasher right hand side we're taking shield breaker uh ruthless ambush just to get a little bit of extra damage for the first hit and that's going to help with um, our AOE block revive as well. And opportunity is good. If you compare them up with someone that stuns or sleeps or does any form of CC, that means we're going to do another extra 12% damage. Uh, defense side, um, I feel like it's definitely a lot better than going support. I guess you could get some accuracy here and, you know, get some speed boost as well from Arcane Celery. And you can also take Master Hexa if you wanted to increase those debuffs that he does throw out a uh, tough skin going into blast proof so blast proof is just going to help us survive any aoe attacks um resurgence one of my favorite defensive abilities um you know good chance for us to remove a debuff if we take a big hit then we're just going to take retribution and deterrence just to help us get some counter attacks especially on that a1 that is a quad hitter so let's hop into some dungeons and then we'll do some arena just so you can guys see him in action. So there is a Fire Knight tournament going on at the moment, turn attack, and it's um, you can only use champion from the Corrupt Alliance, and that is Dark Elves, Demon Spawn, Undead, and Night Revs. So I'll show you the team that I'm running, and we are going to do stage, I think, 23, which is Void. Yep, so we're going to do 23, and this is the team that we're running. So I hope it's pretty fast. 
Um, so we've got Allure. She's built very, very fast to help keep the finite under wraps. She's going to push back Termia. And obviously, she is a goddess when it comes to finite. On normal mode, she'll just keep pushing back that Termia. Um, then we've got Renegade, who's going to reset our skills so we can just go again. Uh, Lydia, great champion that you get from Faction Wars that's going to throw out decreased defense and weaken and just help keep the run really fast. She also does have a triple hit on her A3 as well, which is going to, again, help with that shield. Uh, Rule is just in here to do damage, and he does hit really hard. Um, I should start using him more. Uh, the more I use him, the more I like him. Um, but he does require a little bit of setup. However, you know, Mithrala's here now. So maybe I could switch his build up a bit and really see if I can really push some of the damage out of him. And then last but not least, of course, we've got Foley, who this video is all about. And as you can see, we've already taken the shield out. Um, and a big chunk of that is because of Foley. Um, I do need to actually work on hard mode myself. I'm only on stage six at the moment, and it is it is really, really hard. Um, finite hard mode is the hardest out of all the dungeons. And of course, it provides some of the best gear as well. You know, Savage, Regen. I mean, that is all the gear sets you ever need to be, just be an absolute boss when it comes to raid. But yeah, but um, yeah, so I definitely... You know, he is 100% viable for hard mode. I've seen team comps with him used in um, uh, stage 10. But the problem with that is you need like Cardinal and obviously he's a, a Void Legendary. I don't have him on my account. But um, yeah, definitely something that I'm working towards and I'm hoping that I can use Foley to help me push through the hard mode and sort of get to that stage 10 and start farming it. Because who doesn't want mythical Savage gear? I know is like one of the top priorities on my account so we've almost finished off and we're gonna finish in two minutes and eight seconds so that's really fast that is a decent team like my main team can do 25 in like under a minute but this is still very decent considering the champions that we're using and we don't have a prince kaimar okay trash gloves instant sell on those um, so Foley's done 1.8 mil and Rule has done 1.2. And again, Rule is a really hard hitting champion. Um, his gear isn't as good as Foley and he does sort of miss turns because he has to do his own setup. But again, Foley is doing a lot of work for us here. And if you pull him early on, definitely bring him in. He will help you with all the dungeons up to stage 20. And especially Fire Knight, he's going to be a key component to helping you clear it. So yeah, absolute boss. Let's uh, let's do some arena. All right, guys, I managed to find a very nasty team right here with Wukong and Rotos. So we're going to bring in Wukong as well, just to help strip and also Romantu. So we're going to have some monkey on monkey crime. And I'll just skip straight to the, the second fight. So we're going to start with a uh, terminal boost from Arb gonna try and strip with Romantu and we managed to land it one thing that sucks about this a little bit is that obviously we have got a passive that so technically this would stop Wukong from keep arriving we're gonna try and sheep didn't land and here we go that's it they're both dead that's it game over whack it in away and that's a W but that is the power of of Wukong and that was such a strong team comp right there like the Wukong and the Rotos they've got Duchess and Ulma Death Knight they are really really strong team comp and you know they're completely useless now that we've managed to drop them uh, I do want to try and do a live arena game as well I don't know if it's gonna be possible though it's just sometimes like I'm ranked so high up I don't really have the support champions to carry my account and I rely heavily on my nukas so Foley might not be enough, but do you know what? If we can, we'll give it a go. Okay, that's it, sorted. So we're going to do some live arena. We're currently in the top 1300. And yeah, I'm going to edit this up a little bit because I hate dead air and live arena can take ages to set up. So guys, I think this is going to be a really hard fight. Um, this guy is definitely a whale. We've got Seafy, we've got Cardiel and Tormen, Um, who... I think I'm gonna have to take out Sifi. Uh, I'm gonna take out Brogney. I know he's gonna have some big shields that are gonna be hard to deal with. 
Yeah, as long as Foley can survive, it's a real shame. Like, I just don't have the support champions at this level um, to sort of carry him. Not to say that Foley's not a good champion. Oh, okay. We managed to cut in. Okay, that's Cardiel down. Okay, so Foley, uh, Rotos is going to be completely useless against Ultimate Death Knight. Tormund might cause us some issues. He can actually counter Hepfrek. So he can just strip away my stone skin, which can be really annoying. Just hoping he kills someone else. Okay, guys, it looks like we're actually going to get the win here. I, I can't. Do you know what? I take it back. I was sort of slagging off Foley. He's actually carrying us here. Being able to take out him was huge. And coming clutch with that amulet, um, we got to use that A3 again. That's it. It's game over. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Wow. I'm going to have to start using Foley more often. Like That was just top-level play. And we're now still, still, we haven't moved up far, but we're still in the top 1400, which is huge, especially it's free to play. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this is going to help you guys build Foley. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.